Hey there, I'm Louie, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable little tiny pie. And at the end, I'll be explaining shortly how to make it into a larger amigurumi version and how to alter it into a berry pie. Also, if you have a membership account with Club Crochet, you'll also get the written PDF version of all these patterns and a longer video where I'll be crocheting each of these um, alternate versions in detail. This is actually part of a collaboration pattern with another amigurumi artist who goes by at Ravencraft Designs on Instagram. Her part of the collaboration was this adorable um, milkshake, which is going to be available later this month. So make sure to subscribe to the channel down below and uh, push notifications so that you can be notified when it's released. And if you have a membership account, you'll get uh, you'll actually get early access to this pattern, as well as a bunch of other exclusive amigurumi patterns and tutorials in the Club Crochet Library. And this month's, uh, and even monthly kits with all the materials that you need to make um, all of our new monthly patterns, uh, mailed directly to your door. Plans start at only $5 a month, and you can even get a free trial. And you can learn more at clubcrochet.com. All right, well, without further ado, let's get hooking. For this pattern, I'm using the following materials. I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton. Um, I'm going to be using the colors beige and gray. And then you'll also need berry if you're going to be, um, or like maroon if you're gonna be making a berry pie. Uh, I'm also using a size G, G, four millimeter crochet hook uh, because I'm using worsted weight cotton yarn, but you can use any kind of size yarn or crochet hook that um, you feel most comfortable with. You also might need a darning needle. I like using a crimped end darning needle like this. It helps sew in the ends a little bit easier. Um, a little stick that I'm going to be using for stuffing. And if you're making an amigurumi pie, you'll need some safety bead eyes. Um, I think I'm using six millimeter and a, uh, some black thread for the mouth. You also need some stuffing. I use a little bit of stuffing here to make uh, some steam that kind of looks like hair. All right, well, let's get rocking and rolling. I'll put these guys to the side and we're going to start with our little pie. We're gonna start with our beige yarn. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna be using our um, beige yarn for the beginning of this pattern. If you're making the berry pie, you're gonna start with the berry yarn uh, or the maroon colored yarn. And we're gonna start with a magic loop method. You can also use the chain two method if you feel more comfortable. For the magic loop method, we're going to take the yarn, uh, take our non-dominant hand palm up, and we're going to wrap the yarn around our index finger three times. So one, two, and three, and then take this end and grab it with our index and uh, our ring and middle finger. We're just going to pull it in like that. Grab this yarn in the in your hand as well, like a little finger gun. Pew pew. Now we're going to take our crochet hook, go under these two first loops here, and we're going to yarn over the last loop, and we're going to pull that under the first two. Now we're going to yarn over with that end again right here. We're going to pull it under this loop. We're going to kind of scoop it under like that to make a chain, which is going to lock these two loops into place, and we can pull it off of our finger. There we go. Now for round one of our mini pie, we're going to be doing six single crochets into the magic loop or into the second chain from the hook. Now for our case, we're going to be doing the magic loop, obviously. So we're gonna take your crochet hook, go into these two loops right there, yarn over with this outside one that's attached to the ball of yarn, pull it under, and then yarn over with it again and pull it through those two loops to make a single crochet. We're going to do that six times in a row. So there's one, there's two, three, four, five, and here is six. There you go. Now we can close this magic loop. I like to pull the long end, which will pull one of these two inside ends so you can see that inside one is being pulled in, which means that we want to grab that one and pull it down from right there. Hold it with your um, dominant hand, pinch it like that so it stays in place. And that's going to pull the other loop in tighter like that. Okay. Once that first loop is tight, now we can pull this tail end and pull the other loop nice and tight as well. And that's going to be how you're going to make a magic loop method. And that's going to be the end of round one. For round two of this mini pie, we're going to be doing an increased stitch into each of the single crochet stitches that you made in the last round. So we're gonna take our crochet hook, go into the first one you made. Um, if you're confused of where that is, just count back from our where our uh, loop is coming out right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
that's going to be the first one you made. Now, it's kind of hard to get into that one. So what I like to do is I kind of like push it under it. You might need your nail to help you get under both those loops. And we're just going to do two single crochets into that first one to make an increase. So two single crochets. So we got one and two. And we're going to be doing six increases total. So there's our first increase. So it's one, two, let's do three and four for a second increase. Here's five and six for our third increase. And this is going to bring you up from six stitches to 12 stitches. So by the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches around. Okay, one more increase. Right here. Okay, and that's going to be the end of round two. Now we can go ahead and cut this um, inside uh, yarn a little bit. We don't really need that at all. So we can throw that to the side. And we're on to round three. For round three, we're going to do two single crochets and then we're going to, well, I'll show you. First do two single crochets, uh, a single crochet for the next two stitches. So we got one right here. Go. There's one single crochet. Here's our second one right here. Two. Now for our third single crochet, we want to go over and work into the first round that we made right here. So where this increase is being worked into right there, we want to get our crochet into that stitch and we want to work a single crochet into that stitch. So we're going to yarn over, pull it through. Try not to make this too tight. You, know, you can see that long piece right there. We're just going to yarn over and finish that single crochet. Don't worry, we'll be doing this again. This is going to make the um, the lines on the top like it's a, you know, the pie crust. Okay, so there's our first one. Now we're going to repeat that process six times total. So we got two single crochets and then a single crochet into the first round. Okay, so let's do it into these next ones right here. So we got one single crochet, two, and then into the round one. So just go all the way over into this next round and work into that one. Try not to make it too tight and pull it through. Okay, there we go. There's two of them. Let's do the next one. And how you can tell where the next one is, here's the next increase. You're gonna be starting in the first one in that increase. That's your first single crochet in that repeat. So there's one, here's our two, and then into round one. Keep going. One, two, and then all the way into round one. There's four, a couple more. One, two, and all the way over into round one. Okay, last one. One, two, and then into round one. That's going to be the end of round three. At the end of round three here, we should have 18 stitches around. That's pretty it, much it. All right, for round four, we're just going to be working a single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So just one single crochet into each stitch around, and there should be 18 stitches total. So just keep doing a single crochet all the way around for 18 stitches. Now, when you get to the very end of this round, we're going to be um, pulling through with two loops, uh, a gray loop in addition to the beige loop. So just make sure to watch out for that. When we get near the end, we'll start crocheting around our gray yarn to lock it into place. Okay. Just a few more. Okay, now here's our last few stitches. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to start, uh, we have two more stitches left in our single crochet round. So we're gonna start into that first one right there. Now we're gonna grab our gray yarn because we wanna start working around the gray yarn. Okay, so we just, we just wanna work around it like that. Just place it in between the loops on the hook and the end attached to the yarn. And just keep single crocheting around it just to lock it into place there. So we got one and here's our second one. We can go ahead and pull through with our beige loop. And now we want to pull this beige loop out a little bit and go back into our stitch with our crochet hook, go back into both those loops. So 
go right where that this end is coming through. There should be two loops there. You want to get under both of them. So there's one and two, just like that. Now we're going to grab our gray yarn, yarn over, and pull that through the loop to get a second loop through. So now you should have two loops coming out of the same stitch. Now we're going to pull this gray loop out a little bit and leave it there. We'll come back to it after our next round. And now we are on round five. We're going to pull this beige yarn in a little bit more. Okay, so for round five, what we're going to do with this beige yarn is we're going to chain one. And then into the next stitch, we're going to do a slip stitch, but work only into the front loop. So right here into this front loop. Okay, so this is the front one. Okay, not both loops, just the front one. Okay, not this is both loops. We just want this one, the one closest to you. We're just going to do a slip stitch. We're going to yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. And we're going to repeat that process all the way around. There's going to be 18 of these chain one slip stitches in a row. So let's do another one here. We're going to chain one, go into the next stitch right here, front loop only, and slip stitch. There we go. And this is just going to make a crust. So we're going to one chain one into the next stitch and slip stitch. Chain one into the next stitch and slip stitch. We'll just keep going all the way around. I actually learned this method um, from a crochet artist that I, I admire quite a lot. Her name is, uh, she goes by Stephanie Glaves, and she made this really cool skull applique. Um, let's see if it's anywhere in distance for me to grab. Oh, it's actually not that far. I'll show you once I get to the end of this round. I'll just keep chaining one and slip stitching. But she did this around her skull and it made this really cool border. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna use that in my pie pattern later on. I mean, this was in, this was Halloween uh, last year. So this is a while ago. But every now and then I see little techniques like that from other people's patterns. And I think, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I want to use that in my own work. Okay, so you should keep chaining one and slip stitching. Just come into the end here, chain one, do a slip stitch here, chain one and slip stitch. Okay, just a few more. Get this gray yarn to the side. You don't need it just yet, so just keep it away from us. Slip stitch, chain one. This is gonna be the last one right here. We're going to slip stitch into this last stitch right here. Now what you can do is we're going to cut the yarn. You don't need to have very much of an end here. So just cut like that. And we're just going to pull it all the way through. We're going to take our crochet hook, yarn, uh, thread our beige yarn here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go around the first chain that we made. So here's our first chain that we made right there. Right there. Okay, so we want to go around both of these stitches here and go into the back of it, pull it through, and you're going to go back through where that loop is coming out. So right where that end is coming out, you want to get your crochet hook back into there and just kind of work it in till you get to, you can hide it in just, just for a few stitches. You can see where my crochet hook is going right there. Okay, so just a few stitches in. And that's just going to hide the end. Oopsies. Let's pull that a little tighter. Just going to pull that down like so. That's going to hide the end and mimic the rest of the pattern. So it's hard to tell where the end is. Okay, so there's the end of that. And that's going to be the end of round five. Now let me show you that little skull that I was talking about. Let me just go grab that real quick. It's right here. It's really cute. I mean, look how cute that is. So this is from uh, another Amy Groomy artist named Stephanie Glades. You can see she just did it right around the end. And I made this an embroidery thread, but pretty neat. So check it out if you have a chance. Okay, now so we are done with round five. For round six, what we'll do is we're going to take our gray yarn here, get our crochet hook in there, and we're just going to tighten it around our crochet hook. And what we'll do is we're going to single crochet into the back loops that we didn't work into for our last round. So if you go to where our first stitch is, which is right here, we're gonna go into just the back loop. You can see my crochet hook there. 
going just into that back loop. You can see them all in the back here. And what we want to do while we're working around here is we want to work around our um, this tail end of this beige yarn just for a few stitches. What we're going to do into these back loops is just do a single crochet all the way around. There should be 18 stitches total. So just into that back loop, we're going to take our gray yarn, single crochet around that beige yarn. There's one. Let's just do a couple. There's two. Just around that beige yarn, and now we can cut it and just toss that to the side. And we'll just keep crocheting around with this gray yarn into these back loops. Again, there should be 18 stitches total. Just keep going all the way around. Whoop, there we go. And at this point, I'd like to um, just really quick say thank you so much to all um, the Club Crochet members that are currently members on uh, the site. I just, it really helps the site out a lot. Um, I use all the funds that come from Club Crochet members and put it right back into the website. So, uh, all the money that people spend on memberships, it just goes into making more of these patterns. It doesn't um, doesn't help with anything else other than that. I have actually a full time job other than this, uh, so I like to use all the all the funds to just go back right back into the site. Um, so I just quick really thank you very much for that. Uh, it helps me uh, continue doing this, and also it keeps me motivated. Uh, every time I get a new member, it keeps me motivated to continue working around. Okay. So we just have one more stitch right here. That's going to be our 18th stitch. There we go. We just have single crochets all around. Now you can see our little pies coming together. Now for, uh, that was round six. For round seven, we're just going to do another single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So this time you can work into both loops of our gray yarn. We could just keep single crocheting all the way around. Uh, if you like this video, please let me know by liking the video down below. Uh, it helps the channel out. Also, you can share this pattern with um, anybody that you think might enjoy it. All you have to do is use clubcrochet.com slash pie, P-I-E, and it will share the pattern uh, with whoever, anybody in any crochet groups that you might like or any friends that you have that are good crocheters. Also, I tried to make this video comfortable for beginners. Uh, let me know if you feel I'm going too fast or I'm not giving enough ex explanation. Just let me know in the comments down below uh, if you have any specific questions. All right, so we're at the end of our round here. We just got a few more stitches left just with our single crochets. One more right here. All right, so that's going to be the end of, uh, what was that, round seven. Okay. For round eight, we're going to be working into the back loops only. So remember how we worked in the front loops in this first, uh, into this pie crust, and then we worked into the back loops using the gray yarn. We're going to be working into the back loops again. So take your crochet hook, go into the back loop of the next stitch right here. Okay, so just this back one. And we're going to do a single crochet into the first stitch. And then into the next two stitches, we're going to do a hard decrease, not an invisible decrease or a single crochet two together. This is going to be a hard decrease. Now, let me show you how to do that. Let's go into the next stitch right here. Pull a loop through like you're doing a single crochet. Now go into the next next stitch right there. Get a second loop and pull that second loop through that, through that stitch and then through the two on the hook. Okay, we're going to do that again in just a second. And that's called a sharp decrease. Um, it's just going to make it really flat on the bottom, really keep it uh, flat so that you can, you know, keep it standing up. All right, so let's do, we're going to repeat that process six times in a row. So there's a single crochet, then a sharp decrease. Let's do another one right here. Single crochet. And then a sharp decrease. So go into the next stitch, pull a loop through. Into the next, next stitch right here. Pull a second loop through. And pull that second one through the two on the hook. Let's keep going. Single crochet. Oops. There we go. Sharp decrease. And this should bring you down from 18 stitches to 12 stitches. So you should have 12 stitches by the end of this round. Okay, single crochet. Sharp decrease. As you can see, we're getting close to the end of this. Single crochet. And here's our sharp 
decrease. There we go. Got a little bit of cat cat fuzz, I think. All right, so that's going to be the end of that round. Now, for our final round, we're going to be just be doing a decrease into each stitch all the way around. One of those sharp decreases again. This time, you can work into both loops, not just the back one. So, I'm going to take your crochet hook, go into both loops of the next stitch, pull a loop through, and then go into the next next stitch right here, pull a second loop through, and pull that second one through the two on the hook. That's going to be another sharp decrease. We're going to do six of those total. So, there's one. At this point, I like pinching it closed a little bit. It makes it a little easier for me to get into each of the stitches. And there is two. Next stitch, boom, boo. And then there's three. Boom, two, boo. There we go, four. There's four five and our last stitch right here one two that there we go that's gonna be six now we can cut the yarn uh you don't need a very long of an end that's probably just fine we can just pull it all the way through and we're just gonna stuff it up a little bit and sew it closed so let's grab some stuffing You don't need very much stuffing, obviously, because this is not very large. And I'm going to use my little stick for this, but you can also use the back of your crochet hook if you feel comfortable with that. And I'm just going to, like, kind of sideways put, place it into the hole there. Just like so. There we go. We could use probably a little bit more. I like using wooden stick because it holds onto the fibers of the stuffing and helps you stuff it in a little bit more. That's probably pretty good. Maybe we'll do just a tiny, tiny bit more. And there we go. Now we're gonna sew it closed. I'll just do this pretty relatively quick. If you'd like to learn more about how to sew closed uh, in more detail, go to clubcrochet.com slash sew closed. All right. So what I do is I count uh, three stitches up. So we've got one, two, three, go into the top of that third stitch and go out through where our stitch, uh, where our last stitch was completed right there. Then I go into the next stitch over. So that's gonna be four, go into the top four and out through the first stitch right there. And once I'm through that stitch, I can pull the first one tight, go into the next one. A little tighter. I go into the next stitch over right here, out across, pull that last one tight, pull it in, and then to finish it up, we're going to go into the next stitch over right here. I'm going to go out through somewhere on the side, pull it tighter, go, and then now you can cut it right here if you want, or we can just go through the bottom to create bit of a knot yeah like that and we can cut it close really really close like right there all right and that's going to be how you crochet a little tiny miniature pie now to make uh some adjustments here so i'm going to show you i'm just going to explain it relatively quickly how i turned it into this amigurumi version, uh, this larger amigurumi version, and this uh, berry version of the pie. So let's start with the berry one. Uh, the first change is that you don't, instead of using um, beige yarn, we'll be using maroon yarn for the first, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four rounds. We're going to be using beige yarn, uh, I mean maroon yarn, and then you still want to change to beige yarn for your crust. And then for making these... Um, the stitches here you can just go in come out through one oops come out through one part with your needle you, uh, thread some of this beige yarn onto the needle and we're just going to go in and then out and then and like that i just keep and then i uh, um and then i kind of weave it in and out of the ends come out through there weave it in and out of the ends come out through there weave it in and out of the ends and then you can double knot it on the inside again i show this in detail in my larger video uh, which is available for club crochet members at clubcrochet.com slash pie 
Now, to make it into a larger version of the pie, uh, I instead go up one more round. So this is actually 24 stitches around where this one was 18 stitches. So I did another round of increases. And then for the last uh, round, the same round that you worked into the first round here, you're going to be doing the same thing, but instead you'll do one, two, three stitches and then work into the round one. Again, I have a video tutorial for this one as well. Uh, and then the face goes just on the front right there. Now, to make this little fuzz, the little uh, stuffing coming out, I'll just do that really quick for this one because I think it's really cute. I take some stuffing. You don't need very much. You can just roll it up in your hand. It should create like a little end like that. And you can thread that end on a needle and just go through the bottom and then out through the very tippy top using my finger to make sure there we go just like that and just pull it pull that through i don't need that much so just like just like that you just want a little bit of steam coming out and then i can just cut the bottom of it of that stuffing you pull it through just a little bit more to hide that stuffing in and there we go that's how you make the steam and again, if you liked uh, that and you want some more uh, instructions on how to turn into a berry pie or an amigurumi pie or put them together and make it into a large berry pie, um, go to clubcrochet.com slash pie. Thank you guys so much for, again for watching. Uh, in By the end of this month, you'll be getting uh, this milkshake pattern or you can get it early by becoming a club crochet member as well um and thank you again to everybody that's a member on the site and thank you so much for everybody for subscribing and uh being so nice in the comments and everything like that you guys are great thanks again for watching pasta la pizza and uh happy hooking let's see what kind of noise did this pie make maybe it's like